the addition method. It says, if necessary, write both equations of the form AX plus BY equals C. That's a general form. And then what you're going to do is eliminate a variable by adding. So that if I look at the first one that I'm going to do, if I add directly, what happens? The y's drop out, and that's what the goal is, the addition method is. It kills, kills a variable, so that says I'm just going to add directly, and this gives me a 3x, the y's drop out, equals 6. Now, by the way, if I add directly and what happens is I get both x's and y's, then that's not going to work. But it's going to kill one of the variables, and this says x is 2. Now, if I go back in, this would be 2 times x plus y equals 3, and x is 2. doesn't matter which equation you use, because remember, they're shared values. 4 plus y equals 3, or y equals negative 1. So this guy has a solution of x equal 2 y equal negative 1, or the coordinate point 2, negative 1. So if I were to graph this, uh, I would see that they cross at 2, negative 1. This one's a more difficult of the two. And the first thing that I look at is, do I have something that's already of opposite sign? Yeah, the y's. But I need to make the y coefficients be the same. Now, I can do that by multiplying the first equation by 4, because 4 times 3 is 12. And the second equation by 3, because 3 times 4 is 12. That becomes a positive 12 and a negative 12. What happens to y? Cancels out. So this gives me an 8x plus, oh, not a plus, Peterson, a minus 12y equals 8, because everybody all the way across gets multiplied by 4, and a 15x plus 12y equals 153. Uh -huh. Now when you add, the y's go to 0, so the 23x equals 161. Divide both sides by 23. My guess is that x is 7. And only because 3 times 7 is 21. And now I just need to pick somebody to solve for y. doesn't matter which one I do. If x equals 7, th uh, 2x minus 3y equals 2. So 2 times 7 minus 3y equals 2. 14 minus 3y equals 2. Subtract 14 from both sides. Minus 3y equals, isn't that cute? Minus 12. We like it when numbers come out nice. Multiple, divide by negative 3. Or the y equals 4. So we have two answers, well, not two answers, we have x equals 7, y equals 4, or the coordinate point 7, 4.